Hey, what's going on? This is Adam Moore with PremierGuitar.com. We've got a really cool treat today. We're with uh, Robert Godin in the Princeville Godin factory. How are you doing, Robert? Fantastic. Thank you for uh, agreeing to show us around, and uh, you're going to show us how guitar is made today. We'll try. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's go. You show us where to go. Okay, and now we start by sorting the wood. This is Adirondack spruce, who's going to be cut for bracing stock. And now we cut everything to size. This machine's got six blades and separate the boards. Then the rest is go to recuperation. Then here, the weather is about 110 degrees. And we have big fans like airplane propeller. And all the wood is stacked. Then there's air space, you see, between. Yes. Then, and this get the air circulate and it's gonna slowly uh, bring the wood to the right thing. What are you drawing here? A tree, you see, a big log. Then how we do, we need a tree, five foot diameters minimum. Okay. This is huge. Yeah. Why we need that is we need a certain grain, then the grain turn like this around the tree. Then what we do is, we cut the tree 24 inch, okay, long like this, and we put on the ground, and then we have this big log there, and we're gonna select block, a block like this, to have all the grain straight. I'm gonna do another one here. I'll, then I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna do my next one like that. You see, to have always the grain straight. And this is done with a, na a hammer and a corner. And we just wedge the block. And this is the block, you These see? Are the blocks that you get out of that. Yeah. Then we bring the block here, and then with special blade, and in the winter, we put the block in snow. That's the way we do it. All these molds are made by us. Then they're heated here and then on the bottom. Now she's just going to put in boiling water a few seconds to, and then she's going to press the side just at the right speed. If it goes too fast, it breaks. She knows. Now it's going to eat, and the eat is going to curl two minutes, and the sides are made. After, she's going to put them between the two pieces here that they cool, you know, between the two pieces, because if they cool, if you put on the table there, they're going to twist. See, this is a beautiful white spruce. Look at the pattern of this grain. You see, it's very, very nice. Let's see now how, what is the quality. And you see, this is where the bridge is on the guitar. Then yeah. now, I'm going to put... Wow. This is a 631 degree of pressure. You know, this is a very high quality top. Means for a certain amount of pressure, it's very stiff. Then now all my top is going to be written inside. This is a 631. The average top, we took like 10,000 top. The average is between 400 and 500. This is a B top. Over 600, only 5%. And then, and then she'll check them again after that. Oh, yeah. Just by the sound, she hear a steady sound, it means a good joint. Okay. But she verified just the same. And these need to set, you said, for 24 hours? Yeah. They're going to stay one hour in the wheel till the glue gel. And after, they're going to be stacked here for 24 hours. This is the machine who brought to bring the thickness of the top, perfect thickness. To, to what uh, degree of per perfection can it get? Thousand of an inch. Yeah. So this is, this is cutting a bridge you said out of yeah. this material right here? Yeah. This is a bridge blank, and now they make the bridge. You see then, there's a tool changer, there's 10 knife that the machine changed by himself. Yeah. Then, we could see here. How many of these can you cut in a certain amount of time? Or? 4 thousand a week. Now it's going to come here. It's going to be 
the position dots on the top and the center point. You'll see. See, up and under. Now I'm going to take it. Then, you see, you have the dots. You have the side dots and the center point. Great, that's amazing. And it's all automatic. <laughs> and here is going to be the saw. You're going to see the 22 fret in one shot. Okay. And then we're going to get the... This is very important. Now the slot here is not straight. It's curved like that. Then we have more wood in the middle. Then the fingerboard is much stiffer. Before, everybody cut the slot straight. But this goes round. Then, in the middle, you gain about almost 30% more stiffness. Now we're going to start the assembly of an acoustic guitar. Okay. Okay, then we're going to start from zero, and we're going to go to the end. Good. And we took those hospital tray. Then you see you have brace, you have 10 bridge plate, the X, all the brace for the top. And she's going to go on the other room and glue the brace. And once she puts the glue on, she has to place it very quickly, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Yes. She put the glue, and this is a vacuum who's going to suck the air and mold the bracing perfectly. Then also, well, this one's getting ready. You see? It mold, yes. and then she's gonna put another pressure. This is tractor trailer cylinder. You know, in the back. Then this give you 60 psa. You know. Okay. okay. It's a seven meter uh, radius, and here we're flat. You see, then the flat top. The name came from that. The flat top allowed the top to move up and down. See, a lot of makers make a curved top, but the top doesn't go up and down, it goes only up. Then you lose a lot of sound. Martin invented the flat top. Then, because they made a flat top, it will go up and down for the same strumming, then you have the bass. Big movement, bass. Small movement, high notes. But it's weak. It goes with the weather and everything. Then here, where the fingerboard crashed, then then the fingerboard doesn't come and move this. The brace also has to come and curve like this, each side. It was very elaborate to do that. These are the molds. For each model, we have different molds. Okay. Now she's going to insert the body of the guitar in the mold. See, she has to stabilize. Then she's going to put a screw there to really stabilize the body, it can't move. And then we have this big wheel with a sander, and we're going to sand the side, the back and the top. The back is round, the top is flat. Then one paper is round, the other one is flat. Then just by the weight, they're going to go down and come to the right, right thickness. When the sound changes, means they're okay. Now she's going to do the channel for the X brace. Oh, I see. Okay. The two this is for the binding. Then we make our own glue. Then we can glue a binding in two minutes. Okay. So is that what he's working on right here? Yeah, that's what he's working on. He's got this fixture. And he's got a pedal there that he can block the guitar exactly where he wants. <clears throat> you see, it goes so fast. Yeah, but it's very tricky. It takes a long time to learn how to do that. This is sending the overlap of the binding, you know, to bring the binding at the height. Of, you see, now he's going to measure if he, where he sends. And this is for the neck drop. Then he can, it looks simple, but it's not. He has to be very careful where and vary the angle, you see? Then we know the height of this stop. They all have their position. 
Everyone's got a little thing different. She's going to go and adjust the neck according to the reading there. Then it's going to be 100%. And that's why you take acoustic guitar. One is bassy, same model, same wood. They have total different tones, but not with our guitars. If you take a model, they're almost the same, same tone because we control this aspect. See here, there's going to be four drill. And then their drill. Now she's going to take the body and the neck and simulate their glue together. And we're going to see if she's OK. Then she's going to put the neck on the tray and the body. Then we took us here to figure, but the fit are perfect. They don't go in the wood then they're even. You don't have to file them. The robot, I told you, that we create an end. You see the end with the suction cup? That's made by us. And also, this robot see the guitar, vision it, and he goes on the shelf, find the guitar, he knows the model, he's gonna place it on his table and retake it at the right position. Prior to that, the robot will clean the wheel there. He's got a brush on the other side. There's a brush there. He's going to clean the brush. And after he's got two lasers, he's going to measure the wearing of the brush because it just removed a little bit. And he redo all the calculation now how to bring the guitar, how to polish. And it's amazing. And also, we have a computer who measure the compound going to put the glue and then she's going to epoxy the neck. You see this is epoxy. Then it's a set neck. It's not a bolt down neck. There is two bolts, but it's just for the gel time of the glue. After they're useless. Now she's going to put a jig over it after that and see uh, if the angles are okay. Now she's going to It's not easy. Yeah, now she measured the bridge she need. Maybe a 275, maybe a 300. It varies a little bit. Depending on, what is she, what is she measuring exactly? The, the, na the thickness of the bridge. Because we need a uniform saddle height. Now she's gonna go inside, see. She's gonna ride it. Now she's got a, like a maximum a minute and a half to clean the bridge because the glue will show forever. Now he's going to make the saddle of the bridge. Okay. You see then he's going to go and measure in the slot of the bridge, mm -hmm. see how deep it is on each side. Yes. Then he's got a cutter there. He's going to transmit the dimension of each side and it cut it precisely. Then you're guaranteed the saddle is at the perfect height. Now it's going to put the string, okay. test the guitar, test each frets, adjust the truss rod. And then after that, they're going to go for a seven day stress. Then we're going to tune them a little bit higher. And every neck, every tops will take its place after, I should say, four days. And we don't want this to happen at the store. Then we do the stress here. Well, that's it. Then this is the final cleaning. It's more for cosmetic aspect, you know. Robert, so we've taken the guitars from start to finish. Thank you very much for showing us uh, your Princeville factory. Oh, it was an honor for me and uh, to show you everything. Thank you very much.